Hey friends, this, yeah, don't look at my hair. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're making sweet raisin bread. I wanna make hot cross buns, but I don't have the, um, I don't have the candied fruit and I only have raisins and Howie wouldn't eat hot cross buns anyway, so he might eat raisin bread. Let's get started. <laughs> And today we're going to be using our brand new silicone mat. Get it all stretched out here. Now, just going to dampen the island here. And we're going to drop this down. And you're just going to go pull it. There, that's nice and flat. I'm going to wipe it off. And there we go. There's our kneading mat. Now I've gone ahead and put two cups of raisins and I've covered them in boiling water to plump them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hot, the, the, it's not boiling anymore, it's, but it's still hot. Be careful with the, hot, the temperature of your liquids, folks. It can kill the yeast if it's too hot, but I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to strain this hot, sweet raisin water off the raisins. Now they're nice and plump and they won't dry out our bread. And then I'm going to add about a half a cup of milk, three quarters of a cup of sugar, tablespoon of yeast, tablespoon of salt. And into the liquid that goes. Now that's instant yeast I used folks, so you don't have to proof it. In goes our dough hook. Let's raise Sam's bowl and get him on too. Now remember, when you're using a dough hook, never set your KitchenAid higher than number two. One cup. I never really measure, folks. I just go by how it's consistent. I figure I've got probably two and a half cups of liquid in here. I'm going to drop in an egg. Oh, and you know what I almost forgot? Butter, butter. Gotta have butter. And now we will continue with the flour. And let's drop in our raisins. And we're gonna let this knead for about five minutes. Maybe just another cup. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? Alrighty, it's nice and soft. We're going to put some oil in the bottom of our bowl, like we always do. And we're going to drop our dough around and around until it's covered in oil. Then, I'm going to take our silicone mat here. I'm just going to drop this over top. I've set my oven to 100 degrees, and when it reached temperature, I shut it off. And this is just going to, I'm going to use this to rise my dough. Alrighty. So, our dough has risen. Whoops. And I'm just going to dampen the table here. And then I'm just going to lay the silicone mat down on the, and then wipe it off. This is really handy, folks. Now, we're just going to, whoops, throw some flour down here. And, all right. Okay, oh, that's nice. Pans. Even these pans are so non-stick. They really don't need a lot, but I like to anyway. All right. Now, how big is this? In there. Okay. So now we're just going to cover these over. 
You know what? I was so excited about using this mat, I forgot to add the cinnamon. So these guys got to come back out. I just forgot I didn't add the cinnamon. I forgot um, because the, the bread has this lovely raisin color from the raisin juice. Now I'm just going to sprinkle some cinnamon on there and then I'm just going to do this again. And there's one. There we go. There. If you got any raisins sticking out, poke them in. You don't want them getting hard and burnt like. All right. Now we will let these rise. Almost blew it. Now this company, the Kitchenware.net, has given me two of these. One to preview and one to give away. I'm going to be giving this way away at a later date. I have a whole bunch of products to review. So I would like to give them all away at once in several draws on one day. But here's the extra one and it's going to be for you. Okay. Ooh. So these are going into a 375 degree oven for 25 minutes. And this, folks, wipes right up like that. Just like that. Isn't that awesome? And here is our wonderful raisin bread. Isn't that, aren't they beautiful? Ouch, 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 ouch. Wrap them up to do their sweating. And there we go. All righty. This has been sweating for, oh, I don't know, about an hour. Oh yeah, it's still warm. But I've got to show you. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I'm just going to cut a couple of slices here. Oh. Mmm. And the smell of the cinnamon. You get a little cinnamon swirl in there. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. And soft and sweet like that. This is the Miss Volfi from our Half Acre Homestead saying, I love homemade raisin bread. Take care, God bless. <laughs>